November 8th, the LHT Mega Meet. It's coming up in like less than four days. So one thing I want to stress is this is a meet. It's not a show. Don't feel bad if you don't have a show car. You don't have to put on a presentation. This is just a reason to hang out. I want to bring all the car guys together, but I want you guys to hang out. I want you to mingle. I want you to meet each other. I want you to network. That's what the car community is all about. We are all thinking very much the same. We all have that same kind of mentality. And that's what I want to bring together. That's what's so important. So many diversity in the world right now. The car guys tend to be more thinking on the same level. That's what I want. It's a meet. Don't feel bad if you don't have a show car. Show up with your car. Just show up. November 8th, LHT Performance Mega Meet. You gotta check it out. This is like one of my favorite things. My old friends and of course new friends that have just kind of stepped into the scene. So November 8th, Quaker Steak. It's six until whenever. We're saying six till nine, but if you guys want to get together and hang out until the place closes down, Quaker Steak is so cool. Food, drinks, there's a hotel right behind it, La Quinta. You can stay there. That way you don't have to worry about driving home. Drive up on the Saturday, come with your crew, come and park, hang out, meet, have some drinks, stay in the hotel, drive back Sunday. That's what it's all about. LHT Mega Meet, November 8th, 6 until whenever. Next, this is what I was going to see here for a clutch. Really, really nice car. You don't see this bright silver. This is uh, the factory clutch that we're putting in it. Factory pressure plate, factory disc, of course, the Nachi bearing. Dead giveaway on these. Take a good look and you can see it is printed on there. If it's not printed on there, it is not a Nachi. There you go, Nachi, Japan. Insist on this, don't use any other bearing. Same on your flywheel bearing. That's the pilot bearing, insist on Nachi. <laughs> Down it. <laughs> Show it up. Oh, those are nice. Type R look. That is cool. That's a good looking wheel. This is it going on the white car? On the white car. White on white with a red H. It don't get much better than that. Sweet. All right, we'll add you to the list on Monday. We have the tire guy coming Monday to do some tires for us. You're sending tires for these? Tire rack on the way. All right, sweet. There's two wheels in there, right? At least. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't realize how deep the box was. I'm like, wait a second. All right, good deal. Sweet. All right, we're gonna show you these when the tires go on. Luckily, we got these bolts out, but they're notorious for rounding off because they're shallow and soft. These are the upgraded bolts that we sell in our store. These are a must. This will save you a lot of headache. Just get the whole set. If you buy them, you get the front and the back. That way it upgrades the whole drive shaft to the better bolts. I just realized we're being kind of busy and I haven't filmed any of this. And this is the most nostalgic car ever. This is kind of a blast from all of our past. I worked on tons and tons of these when it came out. This is the famous 99 Civic SI. Uh, this is what we've done so far is a new timing belt, water pump, tensioner, drive belts, valve adjustment. It's kind of a shame that it looks as dark as it is. It just means it hasn't had many oil changes. It's mechanically okay, but just hate to see that. That's why I tell you to get, to change your oil. Other reasons too, but that is a side effect from not changing oil. The radiator hoses unfortunately are discontinued by Honda. This end was like a little swollen. It was leaking. I did the old cut the radiator hose down. It's not tight, but push that oh, uh, forward a little bit, get a little bit better seal, cleaned everything, cleaned the aluminum, everything's sealed good now. We're trying to get a distributor cap. We have the new distributor O-ring on there. As much as I like modified cars, this car really needs the airbox, the header, and a new black wrinkle valve cover. About to put a new valve cover on it. We'll show you that here in a second. 
Tires we had installed yesterday by our tire guy. Perfect install. No worries about scratching the rims. No putting the tire on here and spinning it half a dozen times to see which way it goes on. I hate that. You tire guys that do that, stop doing that. Take time, take pride in your wheel and have the customer come back and send his friends to you. Don't do the old spin it on the rim and scratch it. Uh, we have Jonathan take care of a little scratch here. It's still there, but he got 90% of it out. Fantastic. It was like that, but all the way down there, he came over and worked a little magic. That thing looks 10 times better. Such an iconic blue Civic Si. Look at that. Don't you wish you could have one of these back again? I think hey, we all do. In the comments, tell us what other vehicles came in Electron Blue Pearl. Yeah, let's test your OG knowledge. Uh, this is a front lip. It didn't ask anything of this, but maybe we'll see if we can install it. Let me take that. Actually, I'll put the camera down and pull that out, and we'll see if we can install it. He asked about a horn button. He has a horn button, but I don't know if any of this is hooked up. I don't know if they, the track is in there or not. It's red. So, again, question number two. Which valve cover is this? Don't say red. Which car did it come off? Let's test your OG skills right here. We do have a brand new Honda gasket kit on there. It had a Velpro or something, and it was leaking all over the place. If I can show you some of it, it was just, I think we threw it away. Yeah, I think we threw it away. That was, no, anyway. There you go, dead giveaway. That's the Felpro, whenever it has those orange, they just leak right from the get-go. I think they're designed to leak. And these grommets, wrong ones too. So a lot of leaking going on, and I think 99% of it was about the We replaced a whole bunch of seals, but that was the only thing that was really leaking. Uh, that and the O-ring right here. Everything else looks pretty good. That was something else we put on there too. Brand new battery, 10 of 25. That is this month, by the way. Day after tomorrow is Halloween, if you're looking for a time mark. Uh, the other battery was five years old. It did work, but like we've said in Florida, anything after three years on your battery, you're kind of asking for a uh, jump start. Uh, ask me how I know. Let's just take a listen at this little V16 here for a second. Just idles like a champ. So we've done everything on his list. The last thing to do is the O2 sensor because right now it's not counted at all. It's locked the trims. Uh, oh yeah, all the way, one way. Zero, zero. It says fault. Yeah. On fuel system one. It says no. If I clear the code, it'll go to 46% and then... Yeah, that's too much. BC coilovers readjusted those to the height he was looking at, which is my favorite height right there. I'd say that's mature lowering. And the end links that will be here tomorrow, the end links for the rear swim are completely gone. Other than that, this thing, this thing rocks. Look at that valve cover. You guys decide on what valve cover you think this is yet. Did anybody comment? I felt like last time I put this video, talking about this valve cover was a few hours ago. Did you look at the comments yet? Anyone talk about the color? Like I asked the question earlier? That's the second question. Nobody's talked about color on the car. And we let, double me go, let me go look at the comments real quick while you're recording. We did double check that code, that is O2, right? Because yep. it's showing the fault. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what the fault is, is O2 sensor low voltage. Okay. Hopefully we put the new O2 sensor in and that thing is happy. That's a show for finishing touch. Look at that. That is just money right there. That is deserving as a picture right there bar in that frame. There is the O2 sensor, you see how black it is. It's probably just not reading, running really rich. This is the new one, just came this morning. So be careful not to drop these things. They're very fragile, you drop them, you damage these things, they never work again. That's the part number, it's a Denso O2 sensor. It's the only one to use. Don't use the off-brand ones that you find on eBay for 30 bucks, they're not gonna work. We did put the lip on. So a couple of tabs were broken. We glued these right here. This tab was broken. This one was broken. 
it was a Nissan tab completely. So we just basically made that, used a piece of stainless and kind of replicated this and riveted in the middle. So it gives it a little bit more structure and same thing that was broken. But the ones on the end, we supplied the screws and the hardware, but look how beautiful that looks with the lip. Big, big difference. So at the back, I don't know if I showed you this yesterday, but the end links were completely separated right here. These were rusted. This was just gemmed like this. This was not even been used. It was just pushed out the way. So uh, this was rusted. I managed to get those out. I got to get those out too. The end links should be here in about the next half an hour. I know you guys didn't want to watch me break rust loose, but this is something that we don't typically have to deal with, and I'm fortunate. I used to deal with rust in England, and now I'm happy that most of our cars are super nice and clean. Anyway, end links are on. That's good to go. I don't know if I showed you the old school shocks that were on it. The good old KYB. You guys remember these, the GR2s? Right there. This was what we had to deal with back in the day before we had adjustable suspension and HR coil overs. So sorry, HR lowering springs. Problem with these, it was super low in the front and normal in the back, and of course, no adjustability. You can't set it up. The ones that he chose, he's got the BC racing coil overs on there. There we go. Definitely a nice looking shock and spring combo. Just cleared the code. Now we should and make sure the DO2 sensor is working. The customer said that the second O2 sensor did throw a code due to the aftermarket cat, but that's not the one we're looking at. We're looking at the primary O2, the one that the car actually uses to determine what adjustments to make when it's in closed loop. It's cold right now, so it will be in closed loop. I just want to make sure it doesn't have that fault. So the voltage is working on the O2 you see right there is 0.82. Bring the RPMs up a little bit. This is what we used to use with the old air fuel ratio gauge. Remember those things? I just wanted to show you this. Remember I said it acts slow. See right there, it's idling at 1143. Look how slow it reacts. See? It's just very delayed. It's like an old, old phone. And this, this machine is actually pretty fast on the newer cars. It will show you live and it's pretty instantaneous, but this is just, just an old computer. Old, it's from 1999. Yeah. Coolant temperature 126. Short term is starting to move right now slowly. There we go, our trims are working correctly. That was it, just a no two sensor was bad. That means the ECU is good, wiring is good, heat of circuit's good. Look at that. Long-term trim is working. Nice. This one is pretty much done. It's got a bit of an exhaust leak. It's got one of those aftermarket exhausts that have the stainless can, but mild steel on the inside. You guys know which ones I'm talking about. What a fun little car this is. Uh, horn button doesn't work because it needs the track. This is just what comes in the steering wheel. It needs a track to basically connect this through a track in here into the column and then the button will work and he doesn't have that. So that might be something for another time if he can order that. I'm not sure what wheel this is. Not if it's a, it's a, there you go, it's a Momo wheel. So I don't know why nobody makes that and puts it with the wheel like an OEM one, but that can be for a later date. But anyway, this one is done. further back and see if we can get a good accurate number right here. So I'm about 20 feet away. These are our tips in the mirror black. Look how beautiful they look. Do a quick before and after comparison right here. This is what it looks like with the square tips and of course the chrome back in there and then this how much different that looks. You see the, the back end it makes that completely disappear.
that's in sport, right? Yep. Let's get sport from the back. We'll keep this running so you guys can see it live. good with tires on they look so much different now we got tires on yeah, don't we yeah. you can really see how they look cool these are gone on the black car but these are just car ceramic coat so you doing next yeah all right let me know in the comments what you're gonna drive I think I'm gonna bring the s2000 and the CRX and we'll bring the Colorado to haul the tables and tent and merch and such we will have a t-shirt ready at the event. We're gonna try and keep the prices low. We will have the point of sale so you can bring your card, bring Apple Pay, whatever you're gonna use, we'll be able to sell you all of those little knickknacks that we offer. And of course, S2000 VIP Park. We wanna put you guys all together so you guys can network and talk S2000s and have a great time. That's what it's all about. Why don't you guys have a fantastic time? That's what the car community is for me a awesome time something i love i have a lot of passion for see you this saturday 6 p.m <laughs>